Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of You Squad Stars, here with Cambridge United. Well, at the end of last episode, we had, obviously, Luck of the Dice, and it fell on Jake Warren. His girlfriend decided that, um, I don't know, wasn't paying attention, decided to crash the car. Jake's all right, don't worry. Um, he got from that, obviously, aggression went up by four, and his composure went down by two, as you can see. Yeah. I have adjusted those correctly, so just so you're aware of um, that I am doing what is said in the scenarios, that is what's happening. Right, in today's episode we are going to be kicking off things with a match against Morecambe, and then we will face Carlisle United, which then takes us out of September and into October, which will be starting against Gillingham. So that is what is coming up in today's episode, guys. Um, will we continue our good fortune and good run of like you know games after we did like in the last episode three games all wins and clean sheets to go to boot now the thing that we are like missing and the thing that we are lacking as you can see in the league table is the fact that we've only scored six league goals that is our big issue um, with regarding um you know hitting the back of the net and stuff like so I'm going to stick with Trevor Mahoney. He seems to be okay. I've I've actually put Haugen. Um, I've actually shoved him out on loan. We've not got anything in for him just yet. Um, but I just... I, there's just something about it. But as you can see, he's unhappy anyway. And um, feels that he deserves more game time. But he's, he's just not very good. Like, he's not... He's just not gelling sort of thing. So he is unhappy. Um, so I've put him on the loan list. Um, and what I've done is I've made Andrew Awazi... A striker, he's already was left winger, he was a right winger, but he was also cam. So I've got rid of the cam, I'm not going to give him all four, and I'm just going to make him a striker. Um, and the reason for this is, one, he's got five-star weak foot, is obviously to start with, but where is it? Um, his finishing is 54, which is better than some of the other players. And as you can see, like, you know, I mean, the stats he's got with the pluses are just natural growth. They're not anything that I've done to, to him in any way sort of thing. So we might give him a game, you know. Um, I probably will start against Morecambe with Trevor and have a Wazi um, as our backup striker. That's what I'm thinking. Right, without further ado then, let's crack on and take on Morecambe. Right, so here are the two lineups. Um, a few changes have had to be made. Um, players just not, uh, you know, fully recovered from the game against Notts County. We put a lot into that game. Um, so as you can see, Captain uh, Batrick is not in. He's on the bench, but Holton has come in in his place. Sam Holton has come in on that side. We don't see a lot of him, but we'll see how he gets on. Probably he's got a lot to live up to. Trevor, now can he get this through? Here's Sam Holton. He's on for Batrick. What can he do? Oh, it's pushed onto the bar. From the keeper, he's knocked it back, Trevor, and he's... How has he got that over? How has he lifted that over? Come on. Gabelia now is going to play this down the line. Uh, I don't know if we've got the pace. Hello. Oh, shot. Oh, okay. Um, Walton was quite happy for that to go by. I was, a, I was a bit more concerned about it, but he was obviously... Yeah, no problem, boss. It's fine. Green now. Good ball out here to Holton. Cuts this inside. Oh, and this is a good move, Holton, surging forward. Oh, he's going to have to maybe drag this back because he's just not got the pace. All right, play it back. Trevor, oh, all right, go back to green. Trevor was once in it. Turns it, nice. Oh, is he offside? No, he's not. Just couldn't get any power in it. He's doing a good job, but he's managed to still get the cross in and Rhodes, oh, what a take, unfortunately. Just couldn't get the pass, but then does it again. Well, we... Could have been 1-0 up if it wasn't for a superb save. Um, but that's really been the only sort of real cut, uh, clear-cut chance in that first half. It's been very bogged down in midfield or whatever. So just can't find that cutting edge at the moment. Here's Zeradine. Not had much involvement in the game. It's not been able to sort of get it out to him. But when he does get in, and Mahoney, please be on side, Holton. Drag it back. Chance. Trevor. Oh, what are you doing? It was there. Mahoney had a chance. It was meant to go to green and Trevor, striker's instinct, just took the ball off him and thought, oh, I'll get this and... Drags it wide. Another clear-cut chance and... Oh, wow. Okay. Cranston. 
Powers that one out. Okay. Did the Cambridge man get a yellow card? I don't know. Oh, they're playing this well around the edge of the box and they're working it and that's a great save. We've got to be act quickly. Come on. Oh, it's just bucket. It's just falling around here. Oh, we got away with that. Wow, that was just that was nervy, nervy times right there. Okay, they're making a change. Lewis is coming on for, for Tut. Um, we're going to make two changes um, for stamina. Bellington probably got the worst stamina in the club. He's coming off. Um, Jake Warren's going to replace him. And I'm going to try a Wazzy up front in place of Trevor. Just see if he can net uh, the opportunity if he gets it better than what Trevor did. Because, yeah, didn't do very well, did he? Which is a shame. Oh, Warren's getting a challenge in straight away. He's right into the action. Here's Holton now. Turns around. Can he get through to a Wazzy? He can. What can he do from here? Oh, nearly nail down that strike competition because it's like I say it's one well I say it's we're str well we are struggling in it but I have got a youth player that's a striker that looks very promising and I'm not sure whether to bring him for I mean they're all youth players obviously but oh that's a great ball over the top that is a superb ball over the top we need to get there and Rhodes is there well done well done Rhodes oh okay and Morecambe going to get synced from this corner. <sighs> That's a great header from um, Holton. It's come for it. Oh! I don't know if it was a deflection or what, but... <sighs> Man, who's playing him on side? We sort of pushed it. We pushed out here from the corner. And who's that has played him on side? Bernston, I think it is, in his wrong position, and it's just caught well we now. It's like he's not. It's, he, he was all right for the first shot, but it's just that deflection from from Leitch, Lich Smith. Played forward, knocking it about. They're just getting into good positions. Oh, what do you do about that? What do you do? Same player, Leitch, Leitch Smith, whatever. He's being my. Billy Bogey player right now. Get out. Oh, that's a good picture, and we can't see him behind a big black bar, whatever. It's not. It's just bang. Could Walton have done better? Could he have done better? Let's see from this, he's not even making the dot. It's it's, oh, it's right. It's right near the post. So, nah, I don't know. I don't know with that one. Oh, it's blocked. It's fallen to Holton. It's fallen back to Awazi. He can't get the shot away. He's just hit thin air. Zaradine's gone back here. This is all just going to be a consolation goal if we get one. Richardson. Oh, it's the post again. Oh, it's twice. First in the, one in the first half, and then in the second. Oh, we're getting booed. I'm sorry, but we don't deserve to get booed. We gave everything in that. We got sucker punched, I think. The home fans are just not happy with that result at all. They are booing us. I mean, that's just... I mean, come on, guys. What are the fans doing here? Like, why are we getting booed? If we took our chances, it would have been a different matter. But as you can see, it's very even when it comes to the stats, and we edged it on the possession. But, yeah. And we're just on zero goal difference now. Six scored, six conceded. It's just... We need to find a goal scorer. Now, I'm going to show you the guy that I'm on about. I think it's from Qatar. This is the guy. Ashraf Al Sabah. He's 52 overall. Um, he's got. He's quite quick, um, but his finishing is 58, and that is just like going to be the best finishing that we've got. Um, and I was going to say that I was going to bring, make it up to 36. I was planning on doing 36, sort of in January. But what I might do is make it 36 like now. And then in January, maybe sell some players that just aren't making... You know, because I know there is some players in the comments that want to be in the game. They want to be their own character, and I'm quite happy to do that. But I also want like some of these players that are already in the game to, to establish themselves, you know what I mean? But um, but we could always have a clear out. There's no problem with that. So I think I'll do... I'll, I'll bring... Because I've got the scouts going to three different places, I'm going to bring one in from each area of the, where they've gone. So we've got Ashraf Al-Sabah... 
um, from Qatar, which, yeah, I've never had a player from Qatar before. Um, I would bring him in, but he's English, and I don't, I don't really want that. Again, I want someone from the Bahamas, and I want someone from Wales. I think Alan Griffiths is going to be a Wales guy, but he's not going to be just yet. Um, and the Bahamas, I'm still looking for a decent guy from the Bahamas because I don't think we'll go with this one. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, I apologise. That was just taking me a little bit longer than what it should have done. Um, right, we need to take on... I think it's um, Carlisle, I think. Right, so we've gone with Al Sabah. He's going to start this one um, and see how he gets on. Uh, we've gone with a more stronger-looking um, sort of midfield. Arnas and Warren um, are side-by-side -side in, in, the, in the midfield. Umpemba and um, Bogo um, are, are both um, back as Green Tree and also Thomas at the back. So it's a much stronger back four as well. Patrick, the captain, is back in as well. Zaradine keeps his spot and so does Richardson. Um, as for Carlisle, they're going with a 4-5-1, four, looks like it. Um, approach and... Yeah, oh, Guy on... I, Ironton, Ironton. He looks like um, their weakest link um, on the right hand side there, but um, we'll see if we can maybe exploit that a little bit. But here we go. Okay, so looking to bounce back from that awful d result against Morecambe um, and see if our new striker can be the missing link. Maybe. Oh my word, Jones is just powering his way through midfield here and. Come on, Warren, get in there. Okay, they've made a force him into a mistake. Again, Arnas gets in there. Richardson, Arnas now. Here is Al Sabah. Oh, not a good turn. His first touch on the ball was the best, you know, but. Al Sabah, can you flick this over? No, that's a poor ball. Al Sabah, go with your head. Why? You, you must have crap head inaccuracy. Why didn't you go with his head then? Trying to get it with your foot. Oh, they're just the passes are just eluding us right now. Come on, Walton, get hold of that. This is this is a horrible game. This is a horrible, horrible game right now. Oh, it's a good ball forward. Honest, you need to get there, mate. Challenge. Oh, great challenge. Great, great tackle. Through from Warren Elsabar. Okay, Warren. Oh no, it's not from, from Warren. It's through from Richardson. I should know him. He's got a ponytail. Right, here's Richardson. It's just that he was sitting a bit deeper. There's a chance to Arnas. Oh, what can he do from here? He can test the keeper's fingers. It's not a bad effort, to be honest. Al Sabah is not looking like our problem solver. He looks probably just on par with Haugen at the moment. He might have good shooting, but everything else is going against him. Right, come on. Arnas oh, now. Knocks it forward. Here's El Sabah. Richardson's wanting it. Can he get through? Get a good first touch. He has. Can he get it across? What the fuck was that? It's supposed to go to the far post and he just pulled it straight back. Oh, it's so frustrating. The, 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 the passing and everything is just absolutely terrible. And they're away. And here they go. Carlisle. Okay, they're playing just as bad as us. What the hell was that? Well done. Oh, we could have caught it. But it is it just got me going because we won those three games last episode and I thought, yeah, this is gonna be alright, we're gonna do okay. We're not necessarily gonna get promotion or anything, but we're gonna do alright. But now we're back to square one, idiotville. Forward, Richardson, Al Sabah, you're going the wrong way. That's not where you're supposed to be going out into the wing, are you, as a striker? Why are you gone that way? Warren through. Oh yeah, that was the that was the chance. I'm thinking of Wazzy. I'm thinking of Wazzy could be our striker. I'm thinking that. I mean, Carlisle had uh, no efforts in there. They they were quite. They would have been quite happy to have um, picked up the point. We just just ah, oh, so frustrating. But Wazzy came on and he just looked lively. Of course, they would be happy with the point. Jesus, that is diabolical. Absolutely diabolical that we've just got that nil nil awful game against them. Who are we up against now? Totally forgotten. Oh, pressing the wrong buttons. Get yourself in a whiz. Gillingham. Uh, right. And then two. Hold on. Hold on. Two days later, it's the checker trade. I want to do well in the checker trade, and it's Accrington Stanley in that. So. 
I'll put out a bit of a more of a weak inside against Gillingham because we can always claw back points in the league. I think that's what I'm to do. Right, so as you can see, quite a, a lot of changes. Well, everyone's been changed to be honest. Now you know what I mean. Um, we've got Gerbil in goal. We've got um, Rhodes, Johansson, Flanagan, Bernstein at the back. Ortiz, B in the middle with Mason just in front of them. And then we've got Holton and Wright out on the wings. And Wazzy will start up top. Um, as regards Gillingham, yeah, their size is much better than ours. Let's go find out. Ortiz knocks that forward, it's a good ball, can we get it on again? It's out here to Holton, what can he do? Oh, that's a hell of a challenge. Referee saying no, he took the ball, which he did, to be fair. He did take the ball, it's one hell of a challenge that was. Oof, oof, oof. Parker nearly, nearly just destroyed all of good work. Um, Oh, that's close. Wow. Seems to be our downside is that, is that first touch. It just isn't there right now. Oh, Ortiz. They're, they're, they're panicking a bit, some of their clearances and stuff. Mason tries to dink this over the top to get Wazzy in, but Emma's there. Not able to do it. Knocked forward. Jon uh, no, Flanagan, I should say. Here's Jonasson. That just that killer touch and stuff. Eggby, great ball. Holton. Has he cut it too much? He plays it in. That's what we want to see. A goal. An actual goal. A wazzy. Well done to Holton. And a wazzy has just given us a goal in today's episode. Wow. Hooray. I thought he ran it into the defender there, but yeah. It was a lucky one. Keeper nearly saved it, but a wazzy was there. Uh, just manages to get it past and in. Okay, that's good. I thought we were going to have a horrible episode with not even a goal in it, but we're there. Oh, Mason's done superbly. Right, into a wazzy. Lay this back. Ortiz now. Can he get through to Holton? This is a great chance. He's gone for the chip. Oh, <laughs> sublime. Oh... That is sublime, I tell you, that is just, yes. Wow. Okay. Um, I think we maybe need to start looking at changing our, our first 11 around because these guys, wow, they're playing so much better. Lovely little chip here. <laughs> That's confidence for you. Um... Okay. Well done, Sam Holton. Well done. Holton to Rhodes. Holton is really battling here to knock Batridge out of his position as well. Um, but the thing is with Batridge, you can play on this side. And if Zeradine's not playing that well, then yeah, might do that. Because Holton is having a great first, um, first half there. Well done to him. Riley knocks that forward, Parker intercepted by Bernston. Here's Ortiz now, Egby, can he do, what can he do from here? Cuts it back inside, Mason knocks it forward. Here's a Wazzy, can he lay this back inside? Mason, it's a great strike, good save though. Tries to get foot in, Riley knocks this in. Charles Cook's there, tries to get, just missing the, the, the vital chance, keep it. Why did Gerbil not grab that, knowing it's going out for a corner? That's not good. He's hit this here. It's come off roads, I think, and he should have just grabbed it. He was not going that fast. Holton. Oh, that's a pole, ref. He got his shirt pulled. Come on. Jesus Christ. Hamlin. He's the wrong side of him. He's the wrong side of him. Gerbil gets nowhere near it. Parker's in. And they can still snatch a draw or victory here. There's still time. They're trying to get the defender, like, goal side of him. And he's like, he just wouldn't move around. I can see it. Like, you know what I mean? It's coming and he's like... How's he, how he not headed it before him? He's, he's so much taller. I mean, he's trying to, like... What's he doing there? What is he doing? It's terrible. It was 
not brilliant from Gerbil either, to be honest. But the defender, Jonasson, was... That was just terrible defending. Good job he's not one of our first choice. Right, Holton. Oh, nice. Lay it back to Holton. Holton's going to surge forward here. Holton's going to crack one. Oh! Oh! That wasn't bad. I mean, it hit the side net and the, the outside, but it still scraped it. Keeper thought it was, you know, all right to leave, but that wasn't too far away. They played well. They played well. They really did, but we sh again, we're just... We're crap in front of goal. Really, really poor in front of goal. Look at the amount of attempts that we've had. I mean, the shots and the alone, like, you know what I mean? Sam Holton does pick up man of the match. Fantastic performance from him. But, yeah, let's see where that puts us um, in the league, because obviously the checker trade is about to come in next episode, but... We are up to seventh, so we are back in... We, we, we've started the episode in sixth, finished the episode in seventh, so it's not too bad. It could have been a lot better. At the same time, it could have been a lot worse. We need, a, we need, we need to find our, our shooting boots, most definitely. Maybe one of the scenarios will help with regards to some shooting. Who knows? Like, you know what I mean? Let's find out. Now, obviously, I've added um, Al Sabah into it, but he's not going to be in... The choice because I've only added him in this episode. He'll go into like next episode, um, um, so we've got 34 players. But I'm going to bring two more players in to make it 36. And I don't want to bring in another Englishman, but he is English, Peter Thomas. Now, now, this will get you all scrabbling on your keyboards and your and your and your phones and iPads and whatever you're watching this on. I could make him into one of you guys. Yeah, I was going to wait till January, but who wants to be? Peter Thomas. You'll keep the same stats. Forget the overall. That's going to change. He will still be a 61. Okay. Um, he, he, well, he might not be a 61 depending on what position you want to play. Okay. Who wants to be him? And I can turn him into him. I, I, I don't want it to be anyone that's English. If you're going to be in the game and you are English and it wants to be you, then I'm afraid you'll have to wait. Um, but if you're not English and maybe one of the Americans out there or anyone else from around Europe or the rest of the world and you want to be Peter Thomas Let me know down in the comments um, basically Put a reason why and, and the best reason why I will then choose okay And um, so put it put put that down in the comments guys um, And then I'll turn Peter Thomas into one of you guys and then promote him up into the into the into the actual team um, as one of them and then the other guy that will be coming through would have been the Wales guy which is Alan Griffiths here I think I might do that I might make him 16 just to get him in as a Wales player yeah that's what I'll do so guys right do that down in the comments get it in the little description of the reasons why I should pick you and get you into my into my youth squad here um, um, on Move On Good Gaming right but before we do all that and, and you get on there and we finish the episode and that, you know what's coming, guys. Yes, it's Luck of the Dice. Okay, we pretty much everyone, I think, knows what Luck of the Dice is um, now. Um, so I don't have to keep um, explaining it and stuff like that. If you do not know, please um, feel free to, to comment down below and I'll, I'm I'll willing to, to share it with you. Right, so... Um, as you can see, the pinky sort of peachy colour um, is going to be 1 to 2, blue is going to be 3 to 4, and green is going to be 5 to 6. And we get a 5, so it's the greens. And who is going to be the lucky recipient? It's number 5, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4. It's Harrison Richardson that is going to get this. And let's see what he gets. 17, there we go. Right, number 17 is... Oh no, I've done it wrong. I've just realised. No, I apologise. Because we've got 40 scenarios, so I need to decide which like, lot of the scenarios it is. Ah, I do apologise. Right, I'll roll a die 6. 1 to 3 is the first 20. 4 through to 6 is the second 20. I apologise, guys. I'm sorry. And it's the second lot, so it's going to be the new late lot of... Um, give me the bloody dice. I can't even... Um, it's going to be the new lot of um, scenarios. So some of them might actually be someone that's um, actually put one of those in. Like, so what one is it? Then it is. In fact, no. I'm going to. God, I'm really messing up on this one. I'm going to keep 17 because that's what we rolled. But it's going to be 17. But it's actually going to be 37. Okay, so it's number 37. Okay, so Harrison Richardson has remembers his grandma's birthday cake for a 60th and receives the finesse free crit. Uh, 
the finesse free kick trait and the finesse shot trait. Oh, that's one. Okay, that one's different. No one actually put that one in. That was one of mine. So instead of like getting any stats, he's going to actually receive two traits. So he's going to get those added to him. So he's going to have the finesse free kick and also the finesse shot trait. Will that help him? We'll find out in episodes to come. But there you go. Yeah, there we go. Indeed. Right, let's get rid of this because uh, that's all done now. Thank you again, as always, guys, for tuning in. I'm um, sorry if that was a little bit chaotic. I just, I just got me so in a right tiz there, didn't we? Like, but a, a nice like would do um, on the video if you want to share it with your friends. Tell your friends about it. Come down and have a like, like a bit of a chat in the comments. Why not, guys? Like, and also down in the in the description, guys, check out the other channels down there and give them a bit of love as well, like sort of thing, because they are you know, definitely worth checking out as well. And um, you'll see that they're a lot further along than what I am. Um, but yeah. They're doing, they're doing new squads as well, so check those guys out as well. Anyway, you take it easy, guys. I will catch you um, on Wednesday for the next one of these, but if you want to tune in tomorrow for some Malaga Road to Glory, do that, guys, because it's the start of Season 4 in tomorrow's episode. Yes, Season 4 in the Champions League with Malaga. So there we go, guys. You take it easy. It's Dave from Moomongo Gaming signing off. Cheers.